All right, in this series of videos, we're going to be looking at sprite animation. And we've already done normal animation when the frog is hopping around and, and, and actually moving across the screen with transition to. Uh, that's simple animation. Sprite animation typically has um, two, part, two types of animation. For example, here's a game that I am working on right now. And this little guy is going to walk to the left when I swipe left. And, and then right. And so he's moving left and right, but at the same time, there's internal animation going on, which is his walking, his little feet going, and, and his arms going, and things like that. I'm going to uh, do another piece of animation here. Okay, so he shoves that block over there, shoves that block over there. Okay, so we've got two different... Th this is sprite animation. And the way you do uh, sprite animation... Is you have. Now let me show you one more thing here because it's kind of cool. All right, so the the block we see the blocks wrap. I'm gonna go push this one up here. Ah. Okay, the way that works is by using a sprite sheet or an image sheet. And let me pull up. The, this is the image sheet for the little guy there. And so you can see here. This is his his walking down. And you can see each frame here of the animation is a little bit different. And then the next row here, he's walking to the left, walking to the right, walking up the screen. And here's the series of, of, of frames that we use to make him jump, you know, st and then stomp on the block, push the blocks left and right, push up, uh, and so on. So the way we do this is we have, we have each of these little drawings. We put them all together into what's called a sprite sheet. And then uh, we feed that into some routines in Corona. And it actually is able then to say, um, I could tell it to use frames uh, 4, 5, and 6 for walking left. So this is frame 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for walking left. Uh, frames 7 through 9 to walk right and so on. And so it's, it's a, a really cool way to be able to do internal animation. For, for our froggy game, uh, there are uh, eight, eight uh, different pictures here. There's one of a snake. There's another one. And you can see, we get the as I'm clicking down them, you actually get the little, see what the animation is going to be like. And I'm going to show you how to take those separate, those separate pieces there, because we don't want them all, we don't want, we don't want eight separate pictures. We want one picture. And in fact, I have that here. So this is uh, a sprite sheet. And by using this sprite sheet and this code we are going to end up with in the first uh, part of this uh, video section being able to do this. So you get the little uh, snake crossing the screen down or, or across uh, it at different random locations. So we're going to see how to do that uh, but first I'm going to show you in the very next video how to actually take those uh, separate pictures and create a sprite sheet with those.